am Martha Higdon from QuiltingByMartha.com. Today's tutorial is just your basic what to start when you're ready to do some quilting. So some things that you need to know obviously with your sewing machine and then um, today we're going to be doing free motion quilting. So they have this thing called a open toe foot and a closed toe foot and it lets you do um, free motion quilting. So you'll need that for your machine to do your free motion quilting. You'll need to make sure that your feed dogs can be released because you're going to be in free motion. Okay, And then you want some good sharp quilting needles to get you started because that is what helps. It's a, sharping, a sharp um, quilting needle. Um, they also make universal needles but this is for quilting only so make sure you have your quilting needle. And there's some gloves that you can that you can get. This one has grips. This is just a plain one. Or you can buy these machiners quilting gloves that I like prefer. And um, they're real thin, as you can tell. I've worn them down because your fabrics will come off on them. And what you want to do is you'll put your gloves on real thin. They have these little tips. It helps push your quilt around. When you have a larger quilt, you really need to invest or look into wearing these gloves. Now since we're working on a small project, I'm not going to wear the gloves today. Um, I have a Janome 6500 and then I also have the extra um, table for my extension table for my quilting. And I think it comes in handy because it gives me a little more space to do my quilting. And if you watch the other tutorial that we just did on marking quilts, we marked this pretty star quilt. And so what we're going to do is I've already dropped the feed dogs and I have my open toe foot on there. And then because this is a design, you want to make sure that you're going in the right design. So you want to put it in your head how you would quilt that. Here I'm going to go in the outside. I'm going to go all the way on the outside. And then when I get around to the end, I'll go around the circle and then I'll go on the inside. Or you could go around on the outside, come around on the inside and go in one scoop. So the first thing you want to do is bring your bobbin thread up. So you decide whether you want to start in the middle or at the top. I, I think I'll just start in the middle. So I'm going to bring my bobbin up, needle down, needle up, and you're going to pull your bobbin thread up. And that's why we don't have anything on the back of the quilt top. And then I'm going to lower my needle back down in that same spot or lower my presser foot. And then I'm in free motion. So basically I, when I go to move the fabric, I am doing the quilting. So here I've used a bright yellow thread so that you can see it and what I'll do is I'm just going to follow the design that I just marked on the quilt. And this is going to be a nice, easy, nothing's rushed, you want to try to stay right on the design. around the inside so that you can see it. Come back around the outside, go back around the inside. And if it has points, you want to make sure that you slow down so that you can get the points. Nothing fast. It's nice, easy. And then if you have to move or you want to trim your thread, trim your thread in there. And then right back to where we finished and get back started. And you're going to go back all the way around. Making sure that you go slow enough that you're going to get to the points. Because remember, the blue is washed away, so the blue is not going to be there when we finish quilting. Then we're just taking our time. You can do some beautiful quilting on your regular sewing machine. It just takes practice, takes time, and then it just takes for you to enjoy the process instead of being concerned about it. And then I've gone around each, and now I'm gonna go around in the circle. And I may go around a couple times just to make it a dent, and then again, I'm going to cut my thread, or you could have pulled your bobbin thread up if your machine doesn't have the cut thread cut any loose threads and as you can see that was free motion quilting with what we just um, what we just put with our marking. So it's real pretty how our design was able to come out. Remember this was the marking tool that used water so you're just going to spray your water 
and the blue marking is gone. So how pretty is that? So I hope this has inspired you to do quilting yourself, to mark your quilt, and to practice your own design on quilting. So I hope this has inspired you. So look for more tutorials from quiltingbymartha.com.